you're purchasing a home, I would never discourage anyone from doing a home inspection. When doing a home inspection, here's a general list of items that you might look for. Let's start on the inside. If we start in the bedrooms, we can check for cracks in the walls and ceilings and look for damage or water stains and look to see that the paint and wall coverings are all in good condition. Make sure there's enough electrical outlets at each room and that all the outlets are working properly. Now let's take a look at the bathrooms. There's a lot of water and moisture in the bathroom. It's a place where mold can form if not kept properly. Check to see the shower and the sink have the proper water flow and pressure and that the sink and tub drain properly. Look for signs of leaky water pipes under the sink. Check the caulking around the tub and the shower. It should have a good seal and there should be no cracks, gaps or discoloration. Tiles should not be cracked or loose and the toilet should function properly. Finally, make sure the exhaust fan works properly. Now for my favorite room, the kitchen. Here you're going to be looking for proper water flow and pressure. Make sure that the sink is draining well and that the pipes under the sink don't leak. If there's a dishwasher, you want to make sure it works properly and drains and doesn't leak. Does the exhaust fan work properly and are the countertops in good condition and functioning properly as well as the cabinets? Finally, confirm all appliances are working and they're in good working order. Let's move to the basement and crawl spaces. Look for signs of pests and insects. If there are rodents such as mice, they'll leave entrails and do damage to the insulation and walls. Check for water damage or signs of flooding. Usually not hard to spot water marks or damage for dr on drywall and trim. Is the basement properly insulated? If the foundation is exposed, is it in good condition with no cracks? Now let's move from the basement up to the attic. It should be properly insulated. It should have good ventilation and have no water damage. Here's another place where mold can form and if your attic is not functioning properly. Other areas to check inside should be the stairs. Are they sturdy and do they have secure handrails? Smoke and carbon monoxide detectors need to be installed and working properly. You should check the garage doors and make sure that they open and close properly and that they seal when they're closed. Let's move to the exterior of the home. Look at the landscaping. Are the trees and yard in good condition? It's a good idea that tree branches do not touch the house or hang over the roof. This could cause a lot of damage. All drainage needs to be directed away from the house. How's the condition of the driveway and the walkway? Look for uneven portions and cracks. Inspect sheds and decks just to ensure they're in good condition. Look at the structure of the home. House walls should be straight and level. Siding or masonry should have no cracks, damage or decay. Any visible foundation should be in good condition with no cracks. An exterior paint should be in good condition with no flaking or blistering. If it hasn't been maintained, exterior wood elements definitely will decay. If you can get up close enough, you should be looking at the roof and the gutters. It's a pretty easy place to spot issues. There should be no missing or damaged shingles. And when shingles reach the end of their life, they tend to start to curl and lift. Check to make sure the gutters are not blocked or damaged. This is how rainwater is kept away from the foundation of your home. Look for signs of roof leaks and make sure that the chimney is not broken or damaged. Check all the doors and windows from the inside and the outside. They need to open and close properly. If they don't, there's a potential larger problem going on. There should be no broken glass or damaged screens on the windows. When looking at wooden frames, make sure there's no damage or decay. To prevent leaks, there should be caulking used all around the joints and around the frames. Finally, for your windows, look to make sure that there's no discoloration or moisture between the panes. This could indicate that they have formed a leak and they're not providing you the same insulation from the cold. Now for the mechanics of the home, your HVAC, plumbing and electrical. This stuff definitely needs to be checked by a professional or someone with a lot of experience. For plumbing, you can look for signs of leaks or previous damage. If the home has a sump pump or a sludge pump, they should be in good working order. Dealing with a flooded basement or worse yet, leaking sewage is nothing short of a nightmare. If the home is on well water, the filtration system and water itself needs to be properly tested. Water tests are pretty easy if you know how to do one properly. The results only take a few days and don't cost very much. I've actually done a few of these myself. Electrical. 
You can do some checking here yourself, but if you notice an issue, you're going to need a professional. Make sure that there's no exposed wires. In the fuse box, look for signs of overheating fuses or breakers that are tripping. Lights and switches should all be functioning properly. And in some cases, in older homes, you'll see older technology. It should be inspected by a trained professional and replaced if necessary. Furnaces need to be delivering even heat throughout the house. If the furnace is more than 15 years old, it's likely due to be replaced soon and reaching the end of its life. The water heater needs to be working properly and not be leaking. In most cases, water heaters are rented, so check to ensure that it's been serviced. Fireplaces, either gas or wood burning or pellet stoves, should have no damage and be working properly. In any case, these items should have a recent wet inspection. If they are not inspected and deemed to be not functioning properly, it, you could find it difficult to find insurance. Finally, the cooling system. Make sure that the air filters are clean. If the air conditioning unit is more than 15 years old, it's likely reaching the end of its life. Where you can see it, check the ductwork to ensure that it's in good condition and all connected properly. I need to stress that I am not a licensed home inspector. I recommend hiring a certified home inspector when purchasing any home. No home you'll buy will ever be perfect, and every home inspector will likely find something. The purpose of the home inspection is really to determine is there any major red flags that would steer you away from buying that home. For added items such as fireplaces, wells, and septic systems, I recommend hiring a professional that specializes in these areas. And if you have concerns with the furnace, air conditioning or electrical, I recommend you involve those professionals as well. If you're considering purchasing a home, hiring a home inspector makes good sense. If you're looking for a realtor to help guide you through the process of buying a home, you better call Paul.